Good morning, good morning. Although it's practically late morning, it still feels very early for me. Good morning, you guys. Allison Crow here from AllisonCrow.com, and this is Coffee and Cards. <laughs> Why? Because we don't really ever know what the cards are going to tell us, but we do know that we're going to pull some cards and that we're going to have some dadgum coffee. So let me get my stream up where I can see comments and people coming in the room. Nothing like having wet hair and having your glasses fog up because of it. How are you guys today? Let's see if I can. Whoops, we don't need the sound on that baby. How are you guys today? Give me just a second. I think one of these days I might have all my text sorted out. Not yet. Uh, good morning, good morning. I see some people. Helen and Melinda and Teofana. Good morning. All right. So I'm running a little bit late because I was running around my house looking for, I have like a little mini crystal quartz wand and I was carrying it around the other day. Now I'm not carrying it around and I don't know where I left it. Paul, good morning. Anthony, good evening from France. Rebecca, oh, happy birthday, Rebecca. This, I actually was going to dedicate this card pull to you. I meant to put that in the title. Woohoo, the watery emotional energy. Good morning, good morning. Oh, let me switch this around. Guys, it's so funny. The bigger my desk gets, the more stuff I put on it. <laughs> it's hilarious. Bonjour, bonjour. You're not in the French side of Canada. You're in the, you're in the west side of Canada. Are they French too? That's the uh, native peoples. Mm. Side. What? What do I know? Marika, Colette. Okay, so you guys, I woke up. I had really weird dreams, and you know what? I'm kind of sad because when I wear my glasses, you cannot see how freaking cute I am today. <laughs> I love it. So um, I had really weird dreams that in my dreams, <laughs> it's my dreams. My dreams are about this live event that I'm doing next April. It's a long time away. <clears throat> but all the dates, it was just so funny. It was like there was all these date conflicts in my dream. And then the other thing I dreamt about, or at least woke up from my dreams knowing, is that we would pull a Mother Mary Oracle card today. So we're going to be pulling today from the Mother Mary Oracle. We're going to be pulling from Sacred Rebels, of course. And we're going to be pulling from Denise Lynn's Native Spirit. How are you guys today? I oh, grew up in Montreal. How are you guys today? Let me check in with your energy, please. And what do you think about my new little live from AllisonCrow.com blue thing at the bottom that matches my website? What do you think? What do you think? Little tiny tech pieces here and there. <sighs> and I want to hear how you guys are just to kind of warm up into your energy too. Sharon, good morning. Good morning, good morning. Let's see. Sometimes I feel like I look at you guys a little bit better if i am got a split screen up here on my computer. And we'll see if we can get your comments up here. It's all good in the hood. It's all good. Let's try. <clears throat> Excuse my... Okay, let's see if I can get comments. Thanks for being your patience while I learn in front of everybody. Yes, Anthony, I do use Live Leap. I'm just a little pissy about how expensive it is for the limited resources. I could pay my assistants to do that for much less than $97. I could share it myself. <laughs> But it's set up, it's done, it's all good. Okay, let's see. Miriam says, I feel quiet on the inside for the first time in a long time. Oh, Miriam. Beth had a dance party at 4.30. Honestly, there was an accident in my family. Oh, Kimberly. 
I saw that yesterday. Uh, um, I saw that. I'm not going to say any more, but I saw your post. I read all of it. Um, I said a prayer for your family. Um, bye, Cairo. So just sending you love and light and, and um, not just love, I mean love and light, but peace and comfort and stamina is the word that came. Stamina came. Mm. Okay, hold on. Okay. Yeah, it's much easier to see your comments on my phone, so we'll, we'll figure this out. <laughs> Just when I think we have it figured out, we don't. Oh, yeah. So let's, um, this is perfect because I have a feeling there's going to be something for you. I, this morning, the Mother Mary cards, whatever we're pulling from Mother Mary is meant for comfort and it's meant for those who are grieving. I could feel that there's some grief that doesn't have to do with politics. I got over my politics grief. I'm very happy about that. I uh, did a lot of inner work on that. So, um, there's whatever we pull from Mother Mary is going to support us with grief. Conscious for the need of the feminine. Oh, I'm so with you, Miriam. I actually, Miriam, I've spent the last few years going into the feminine, and every once in a while I think, oh, I better bring a little masculine back so I actually get something done and have a balance. I do believe a balance is delicious. And um, we'll see. If it comes up, it comes up. Uh, so let's go ahead and start with Mother Mary. And for Kimberly, <clears throat> Rebecca, um, specifically, I don't know if you can stay, but Rebecca, if um, I'm feeling that Sacred Rebels is for you today, too. So let's see what Mother Mary says. And I just love these, um, real quick, the, the Mother Mary uh, deck is by Elena Fairchild, who, uh, some of my favorite, favorite decks. I just love, I can definitely feel that each of her readings is, hi Judy. I can definitely feel that each of her readings are this divine download from spirit, because I'm just not sure if any human being could come up with that. And then the paintings are by Shiloh Sophia, and they're just, they're just lovely. Oh, that's how I knew. Okay, sorry, I just had a hit from my dream. Okay. Oh, this was so cool. <laughs> okay. I was actually at, I was like setting up for Camp Starheart, except for it was the old real estate school days. And I don't know if you can see in here, right, we have the Sacred Heart, right? And my friend, um... Oh my gosh, what's her name? I'm having one of those menopausal moments. Um, Jackie, <laughs> my friend Jackie, who teaches a class on flow. And Jackie showed up and she had a box and she had all these huge amethysts and she had this huge amethyst that was shaped like the sacred heart. So it had a, it wasn't just a heart, it had the crown on top of fire. And um, so I had this, and it was like about this big, it was huge, it was so cool. Let me adjust my camera just a little. Okay, and we'll get on with it. So let's see. Let's see. <laughs> oh, that was fun. So amethyst. And today I should be getting my new crystal card deck and an even longer wand, but I would like to find my regular wand. Okay, so let's see what this is. HB just hopped on. Okay. Yeah, so this is funny. Already we have more people on this live stream than we do when I do it from my page. Okay. Pulling this and having Kimberly's heart in my mind. Okay. I'm not familiar with this one, although I think we pulled it a couple of weeks ago. It's a card number 19, Our Lady of the Inner Gate. We may have very well pulled this one recently. Our Lady of the Inner Gate. And so I'll try to get it without the glare. I like for you guys to be able to see the card so that you can create your own in interpretations. And as always, I love to remind that the wisdom is not in the cards. The wisdom lies in you, loves. The wisdom lies in you. And if anything in the card of the reading feels true, it's because it's already alive in you. 
And I want to acknowledge the spirit that lives inside of each one of you. And this is just a, rec a tool to recognize, right? It's a wake up tool. The magic doesn't come from the cards. The magic, the spirit lives inside of you. Okay. So number 19, our lady of the inner gate. Ooh, I don't really read every single word. I just kind of intuitively go through because, because her Elena Fairchild's readings are a little bit longer. She usually has a prayer. She has a little bit of background. She has why you drew this card. I love these decks. I love getting decks. <gasps> okay, Kimberly, this is perfect. I dreamt and wrote about gates last night in this AM. Okay. I'm just telling y'all. The magic is real. Spirit is real. I use the word magic, but Holy Spirit, God, Mother Earth, Father God, Universe. To me, they are all one and the same. And that's, it's real. My initiations are sacred. And no matter what appears to be happening in your life, I am behind it. I am always guiding you towards your heart. For within that sacred temple, the most precious treasure is kept. To obtain that treasure, you will need courage, trust, and faith. I bestow my grace willingly upon you, my child, without restraint. You must provide the trust in me that gives you courage to take the journey. Write that down, you guys. Trust whatever your spirit's name is, whether it's God or universe, but trust in me that gives you courage to take the journey your rewards shall be riches beyond all imagining the, there is a teaching that it is easier to be grateful during a feast than a famine in similar ways perhaps judging on appearances alone it can be easier to feel the presence of the divine behind the happy events of our lives or strokes of luck or good fortune rather than the challenges and losses Yet the mother instructs us that she is just as much behind the challenges as she is behind the more obvious cause for celebrations. How can this be? In her wisdom, she knows what we're capable of. She knows that your heart, this is a Mark Nevo line, your heart can handle it all. How much heartbreak can we bear in order to grow our heart into a powerful vehicle for divine compassion? bliss and wisdom she knows that sometimes the happier path will be of great benefit she also knows that other times being granted all that we want in the way that we want it would actually prevent us from fulfilling our divine destiny and receiving our full spiritual inheritance whilst there will be many times in her journey with us that she guides us along a joyful path there will also be times when her guidance leads us straight into what we most wanted to avoid Hello. I have so many stories of that. I have so many stories of that until recently. Right? Until the last few years. And here's what changed. What changed in the last few years is I used to want so much for my life. I still have deep desire. But I used to get very specific about what I want and what I didn't want. And I was very intellectually and emotionally if even physically controlling about it and and most of us think oh we're not controlling we're all controlling but things that i just wanted i energetically stuck my heels in the ground the one that comes the biggest good morning heather i'm excited to talk to you shortly um the one that i wanted to avoid the most was being left it was being left and guess what I got left and guess what it was beautiful it sucked while it happened oh so but what I'm saying is like now it's like I can focus on what I want to feel what I want to feel what I want to feel and one of those things is courage in the difficult times okay our lady of the inner gate comes with a message so here's the message we are being initiated into the power of your heart and this makes me cry you guys you are being initiated into the power of your heart. The heart creates a powerful magnetic field that can be felt within us and around us. And as we grow spiritually, the electromagnetic field of the heart grows too. And our energetic influence can become important not only to immediate family members, Kimberly, 
all of us, not only can that energetic influence become important, not only to immediate family members, but to whole communities. I know, sweetie. Um, to whole communities which we are involved. We can continue to grow in that heart power and become influential and sustaining in the world around us. This can even operate to the point that a country we are traveling in at any given time will be impacted by our heart field. I feel so much truth in this because a lot of times, you know, Miriam, you were talking about the masculine. Ooh, <clears throat> we may only get to two cards, this card and, and uh, Rebecca's card. You were talking about the masculine and so much of the world has this outer, like, this is what, this is what constitutes purpose. And that purpose is this action of saving kids in Africa or I don't, I'm so bad about using that one, but it's one that I trigger on. And what if our purpose is just to open our heart and let our electromagnetic field of that heart have an influence anywhere we be and move and I think I cry because that feels so much more in alignment with what feels true for me is I don't have this I don't have this big do of this thing that I'm supposed to do and all these years I had this do in my head that I was supposed to do and even when I did it nothing was fulfilled but when I move around and when I spend my time and energy and my thoughts and my prayers and my journaling on asking for an open heart, a loving heart, and remembering that my heart can hold it all, the miracles happen. And it's nice that for a moment, that miracle of my heart field, whatever it may be. And I woke up this morning to two messages, one from a client I haven't worked with in six years and one from a new fan and follower and friend on Facebook that were just so acknowledging of my heart field. And so, Kimberly, you too. Here's the other thing that feels really strong coming through. Your heart doesn't have to be happy and positive all the time. The shadow, the grief of your heart matters too. And Mark Nepo, my friend Kathy introduced me to Mark Nepo and the concept, just the phrase, this, I heard this one phrase that made me want to buy all his books. Um, I did buy a deck. The heart can hold it all. My heart can hold it all. Oh, oh. I need to put a little sticky in this book so that I remember. <laughs> like I'm going to forget. Okay. Whatever is happening at your life in the moment, whether joyful, emergent, or challenging descent into facing a fear, know that it's an initiation into your heart power. We move through these initiations, not by resisting them, but by staying present and being with what we feel. So that's the other thing, not by resisting and trying to change your feelings, but by being with what you feel. Be with that feeling. Hold it. Don't try to fix it. There's nothing to fix. This might seem impossible, and yet it becomes possible with practice. Amen. Patience and a willingness to trust that it isn't such random suffering to try and get out of as soon as possible. But a pathway that is leading us somewhere truly valuable. Even if we are in dark times, we can know that Our Lady of the Inner Gate is guiding us, keeping a watchful eye on us, and a guiding hand at our back so that we can find our way deeper into the chambers of our hearts. This card tells of a time when you are growing in spiritual power. Whether you are aware of this consciously or not, you are becoming a person of increasing energetic influence. If you have some natural sense of spiritual responsibility, you may worry about this, wondering if you're always putting forward constructive vibrations. Right? There's that spiritual shame. Don't fear. You don't have to be perfect. You just need to be yourself and trust. It is your trust in the divine that brings the most power to your heart and to the most healing to the world around you. It is your willingness to experience your life with growing trust that empowers the mother to act through you and for others to be nourished by your presence. It is your trust that paves the way to the inner gate, opening it wide and allowing you to discover the treasures within your heart. It is the riches that within you, it is the riches within you that you are looking for always. It's nothing outside of us loves. <sighs> 
Without the riches of the heart, anything else obtained soon enough shows itself to be an empty vessel. It is the fullness of life itself, and all that it offers shall open up to your heart as it becomes even more capable of receiving that precious gift through this process. Mm. Yes, yes, yes. My heart can hold it all. Yes, I know. I think this card, this is the um, Our Lady of the Inner Gate. And I think I'm going to, she's going to end up on my altar here. <laughs> Because that's a lot. That's a that's a really good one to remember. And so much. How interesting, Kimberly. Because I just saw your post. I don't know when you posted it, but I saw it yesterday morning, and I've been thinking about you. And then here you were this morning. You were in my dreams. And what do I have on my face? Oh, okay. Let me um, double check. <clears throat> Here's the prayer. The inner gate of my sacred heart opens as I am initiated through the heavenly light of the Holy Mother. Great blessings and treasures are bestowed upon me, which I lovingly share with the world in her holy name. So spend, spend some time thinking about your sacred heart, that your heart can hold it all. Oh, and I'm so thankful for the divine for coming into my dreams for the way that everything gathers this morning. Okay, I'm gonna do the second card and I have a, um, I have a coaching call at 10.30. So um, this worked out perfect because I don't normally, it's so funny because you guys, I don't normally like have somebody specific, but I knew that this, the whole reading would be de dedicated to Rebecca for her birthday. You guys follow Rebecca, she's a wizard. Um, she's such a magician, high priestess. The high priestess club. Whoop, whoop. Mm. So, uh, Rebecca, the sacred rebel card is for you and anybody else that it teams with because, you know, really we're all one. Okay. Wow. Perfect. Whew. Love it. Okay, Rebecca. Let's see what's coming with my dragonfly sister. Hello. Here we go again. I love when I get a card I don't pull very regularly. And it's so crazy how sometimes I pull the same cards. Rebecca, here is your card. And all of us, here is our card. Number two, inner trust. Inner trust. Oh, thank you guys. Thank you for um thank you for letting me receive the recognition and the love and the reflection back. It really does matter to me. I feel so tender. I don't even know why like I'm I feel really good, but I just feel my heart can hold it all. My heart is really tender. Um I've been thinking a lot about what I want to create in my business and I'm, I don't want to do the masculine shit. I just want to expand my heart field to the world and teach others to do the same. And I think that's what my dreams were about, was my dreams were about the content of Camp Starheart because we finalized the contract yesterday. Number two, no wonder. Oh, and I'm just realizing that it's it's not so much about the do, that it's more about this, this spiritual work. It feels scary to do spiritual work for a living. I'll get over that. Inner trust. Let's take another swig of coffee. Mmm. Good coffee, even though it's leftover. I've lovingly become my mother, and will make one pot last two days. Though it may be cloaked and hidden, within you lies natural magnificence, vibrancy, and true uniqueness. The harder this is for you to believe, the more growth this card is offering you. So if you do not believe, if you're having trouble believing that you are naturally magnificent, vibrant, and true, then the more this card is for you. Your opportunity for growth lies in letting go of the need to hide yourself from the world. What was I just saying? The need to hide yourself from the world and to let go of any doubt about the wonder of what lies within you. This card brings you the message that it is time for you to trust yourself and let the real inner you out from behind the veil. You are being assured that you can trust your intuition and your own sense of things. Sometimes what you sense will be love and you will open your heart more easily towards the source of that love. 
be it in the form of another person, a new career path, a project which you care deeply about and want to pursue, or a spiritual and creative practice that you are keen to explore. Hi, Odie. Sometimes what you sense will be more challenging than this and will ask something different of you. It might be that you sense fear and sabotage lurking within someone's intentions or the situations around you. This card asks you to trust yourself, to find the most authentic and self-loving way to deal with that. Perhaps you've drawn this card because you're unnecessarily holding yourself back out of fear. Anybody else holding yourself? Like, I don't even, I think that I'm stepping forward. I think that I'm jumping in the deep end and then I, I, I read a phrase like that and I realize how much I'm holding back. Hmm. out of fear or a lack of belief in your ability to support and care for yourself and I think that's a big one for us we think that if we go forward in what our real deep truth is that we won't be able to support and care for ourselves money or the importance of your need for self-expression in your relationships mm, I'm so glad you're here Odie <clears throat> The Oracle of Inner Trust, I was, I'm just sitting here thinking, Odie, I went to go buy one of your decks yesterday and I don't know if I completed the purchase. I went to go buy the one I didn't have and I might have gotten distracted in it and have it sitting in my cart on Etsy. I wanted to buy your second deck. <sighs> okay, let me get back. This card asks you to trust yourself to find the most authentic and self-loving way to deal with that. The Oracle of Inner Trust comes to you with this guidance. You know what you are doing. You have enough wisdom and intuition to be able to place yourself more fully into the world and to take steps to unhide yourself. Even if you feel you have no clue about what's happening at a broader level in your life, even if you can't quite see the whole picture of what is taking place within or around you, you still have all the wisdom and intuitive ability you need to take one step at a time and navigate your way through absolutely anything that life brings to your door. If you've been thinking of taking a leap of faith and doing things differently, whether in your personal life or your creative work, then this card brings a particular message to trust your instincts and go for it. <sighs> okay, here's the question that comes up, and it'll be interesting to see if the reading answers it. If not, I'll... I'll you know we can the answer is inside of us right but the the question that comes up is like what does go for it look like not how do i go for it but what does go for it look like like trust yourself and what is that so the answer i'm hearing is just listen to your intuition my right? intuition will tell you um it's one of those like duh i'm trying <laughs> right but still holding on too hard <clears throat> If this isn't the most fucking true statement I ever heard. This card comes at a time when the patterns of your life are shifting. It's funny, I just saw a dog tail in the screen. You can take advantage of this shift and leap in an entirely new level of consciousness and experience. This is not a time for self-doubt or playing small. It's a time to get in touch with the courage, boldness, and daredevil within. See, maybe I do. It's time for me to have a little... Ma uh, a little masculine, the daredevil part. And take that step, big or small, into the future that is beckoning you forward. You have the wings to fly. Okay, I know that I keep talking, I keep saying my thoughts out loud, but this is how my brain works, and I just don't put a filter on it. So, like, here I am criticizing myself or thinking, oh, I have to be more than I already am. And I'm like, what's more fucking making it masculine than signing a gazillion dollar contract with a hotel? to have an event based on all this stuff. <laughs> I think I'm doing just fine. Sometimes we don't realize it until we leap over the edge of what we've known and begin to soar into a new life. Okay, and here, I love this one, has a healing process. Place your hand on your heart and say aloud or think very clearly, I trust in the love of my heart. I trust my instincts. I trust in the flow of life. I trust myself in my higher self. I trust life. And when I don't know, my higher self does know. I am guided by the wise voice of my higher self within my heart. 
I trust myself and I allow myself to be guided in all things. And by the wise, instinctive knowing within, I am not afraid to be seen. I unveil myself from my hiding places. And step by step, I show myself with all my unique beauty to the world. I am seen. I am received with love by myself and by others. I am worthy. Ah, fucking ho. Whew. Beautiful. And so I love it since um, it's really good. I have a few more minutes. And since um, Odie is here, let's pull one of Odie's cards. I keep Odie's cards on my altar. Hold on. <coughs> I can reach them. And I've told y'all I love this about your cards, Odie. So she has two decks. And what I, uh, both of her decks have the same back, so you can combine them. And then, um, so these are some of the art images on her deck. And what I, one of the things I particularly love about Odie's deck, and yes, the author of this card deck is right here on this um, live stream with us. O-U-T-I-A-R-T -T is her website, and you can get her cards. So here's what I especially love about her cards. Oh. <sighs> So we just talked about, this is perfect. I love how everything works out perfectly because Odie, you come and you give us this example. So we just pulled these two cards about the heart can hold it all and inner trust and that the answers are within our hearts and having courage and trusting our hearts and being with our hearts. And here is what I very specifically love about Odie's deck, unlike most other decks out there. Odie's cards don't come with a book. You are the reading. So let, let's pull a card. I'm sitting here looking at them like a book. You get to make up the meaning of the word so that it'll have a word or a phrase on her beautiful art, but you get to look at it. And the wisdom doesn't come from an extra book. The wisdom comes from within you. You get to be the oracle. The card is just the beautiful tool that wakens something true in you. And so let's see. <sighs> Perfect. And I love this because to me, this is a way to integrate everything we've talked about today. So here's the card. Let me get it positioned. Commune with nature. This is a way to integrate everything we've talked about today is to walk away from your technology for a little while today and be with nature. Root yourself in Mother Earth. This is what's coming to me. Root yourself in Mother Earth. To, um, I see the, the lights and the trees, and it's like to notice that um, you are held in nature. You are one with nature. And then all the little lights in the tree, to me, are like the fairies and the angels and the spirit guides and your guides that support you. You're not alone. And so that's what I, one of the things I love about her cards is she just has a phrase, but whatever comes up for you. So what comes up for you when you see this card? What is the reading you give yourself when you see this card? What comes up for you? And I'm going to go ahead and there's a little bit of a delay, so I'm going to let it. But what comes up for you? What is the reading that you hear? What is the wisdom that comes from inside of you when you see this card? These are just proof to me that the wisdom comes. I'm out in nature with my dogs right now. Perfect, Helen. Yeah. So um, due to time, I'm going to go ahead and close out. But I do, if you, I would love to hear, go ahead and type just because I'm closing out doesn't mean we can't see the comments about what this card means for you. Oh, let's all take a breath together. <clears throat> mm. Your heart can hold it all, loves. Your heart can hold it all. Thank you so much for joining me this morning. I will see you online in another space soon. Bye, you guys.